everybody, how's it going? I'm heading to Beaverton, Oregon today and I'm going to be painting a coin shop and the manager's name is Bob. See you in a few. Getting close. Your destination is on the right. Said it was on the right, but I don't see it. <laughs> Nine five seven five Southwest Beaverton Hillsdale Highway. Maybe this is it. Signature shoes. Nope. Nine five nine seven. Weird. I have to head back. Okay, 9549, and then over there is 9555, hmm, there's a clock, watch repair, and Dutch store, hmm. Okay, let's try it again. It's got to be one of these. But I do not see it. 9555. 9571. Maybe it's this place. 9575. Okay, this is it. I will check it out. The Dutch store. <laughs> that was really confusing. Because <laughs> uh, the sign on the building is a sign from the old business. And it says the Dutch store. So I was looking for a coin shop. But anyway, this is it. So I'm going to head inside. Okay. Hi there. Hello, how are you doing? Good. I was a little confused because it said the Dutch store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten that switched over yet. I'm Scott, the window painter. Oh, okay. So you just want to um, get something up there temporarily mm -hmm. till your new signs come, huh? Pretty yeah. much. Okay, cool. Okay. So basically the window's going across the bottom here. Okay. And this is our logo. Okay. I mean, I know we talked, so if it's you know, whatever you think is good. Well, I know it's not going to be exact, but it's just something. Okay. Well, the thing with logos like this, that's fine. You want people to know eventually that that's you and it's a logo, but not because you're just starting. You're mainly your your the people you're after are these people going by, and they're going by. You only got a couple seconds. So if you do this, this could look like a cucumber or in the corner of somebody's eye. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a green, you know, so you want to keep it bold. This is just my suggestion. I can copy this if you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my paint out. Okay, perfect. All right. Is 
So they've got this logo of the Statue of Liberty, and I can probably match it. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to try and talk to them about doing something a little more eye-catching, like my cartoony stuff or whatever, but we'll see what he has to say. I'm going to go ahead and get my paint out. Go ahead and set up. Oh, he's talking. I got a nice overhang. It's a little bit smaller than I expected. Okay, they were uh, pretty flexible and uh, agreeable. Nice people, and uh, they're just putting this up because they haven't got their permanent signs. They won't have them for a couple months, so they just want to get something up so people know they're here. And uh, they've got their card here, and you can see the logo. I kind of talked them out about doing the logo. And uh, so I'm gonna put their name, Liberty Coin and Currency, and then I'm gonna, I talked them into doing some of the windows up top too. We're gonna put uh, coins, and jewelry up there and uh, so it's going to be a pretty straightforward job i think it's going to be just uh, mostly lettering but i think i'm going to go back in and ask them if you maybe do a character or something we'll see okay it's going to be pretty simple and uh i'm just going to make it bright and colorful because it's their grand opening so i'm going to do some stars maybe a couple balloons but up here in these windows i'm going to write coins and then down here we're going to put grand opening in this window, and then the hours, and then liberty coin and currency. And then over here, I'm going to put jewelry. So it's a pretty straightforward job. And uh, I'll go ahead and get started. I thought I would uh, videotape from the inside at the same time. But anyway, I'm going to write. Uh, I'm going to write grand here and then opening like on a banner like I always do put like a colorful banner so I'm just going to do the lettering here notice how I grab it on end and I just draw with it most of you have seen me do this a thousand times but for anybody new Let's see how I work the letters. I don't know what to do with my razor. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's in my pocket after all. Okay. So as most of you know, I just pretty much sculpt the letters. So G R A N D. Goes pretty quick once you get the hang of hang of the roller but it, it can take quite a few years to we'll definitely get up to this speed so don't kick yourself if you're not this fast it takes time and you can always use a two inch foam brush too and if you have to you can lay the letters out you know that's fine too but eventually if you're going to be a splash artist you want to work up to just doing it like this by hand. It's all about speed. At the same time, you want it to look nice.
fits nicely in here. You can just size it out. Okay. And down here it's going to say opening. Looks like there's a little bit yellow in the gut in there, but that's no big deal. All right, you too. Okay. I thought I'd do this first part all in real time. I'm not sure how long this took. 10 minutes maybe? Maybe less. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make me a lime green blend. I'm gonna start with yellow. Saturate my roller. And then add some blue. Add a little more. bit of more blue and we are ready to go okay Hi there. Hi. All right. Let's head down here. I think I'm, this way I'm going to run it this way, like that. I'm going to make it look festive. After all, it's all about catching people's attention, right? Do some black layering over this and you're all set. I can use this on the balloons too. Then we just trim that, but coming down this way, doing it vertically like that, it makes it kind of festive, almost like a circus.
think for contrast I'll do the stars in red. I guess I should do this in a blend too, but I don't know. I just feel like there's enough blendy stuff, but oh well, what the hell, I think I'm going to go for it. That's enough blends. <laughs> You know, I think maybe I'll do coins, grand, and jewelry all in red and white. And then just do the stars in dark green and Liberty coin in dark green. I think that's going to work. Well, I just had lunch at Pizza Smitza. That's a local place here in Oregon. And uh, I had me the garden pasta. Mm. Oh, the whole Parmesan cheese. And uh, I told him I didn't want the breadsticks either because they put cheese on that too. So I asked the guy, hey, can I replace that with a little salad? And he said, sure. I thought that was nice. It's really cool to, uh, that I can quick do quick sketches and stuff. It's really, it's kind of fun. So I did a kind of a caricature of myself and I put, thanks for the salad. Anyway, they like that. Okay, I'm heading back to work at uh, Liberty Coin and Currency. All right. Woo, those are bright blends. sun came out it feels so good
Okay, I started doing the red, and uh, boy, this is punching up pretty nicely. I get excited. I get excited when they come out so vivid. I mean, look at that already. It's just boom. This red's the opposite of the green. It's one of my favorite color combinations. Red and white, black and green, and that yellow, yellowish green. This is so rich. I love it. And then I'm gonna, I'm just going over it real quickly, and I'm gonna come back do a real quick second coat of red. I was just talking to uh, one of the owners these guys are really agreeable, really friendly, easy to work with. Not everybody's like that, but these guys are awesome. And uh, we talked a little, and they're actually going to leave this up for quite a while. And uh, But I talked to them about changing this up and changing the doors down here. Like, we can put Uncle Sam here maybe next time in a rocket flying up. They said they're going to take off this no soliciting sign so I could put a rocket there coming this summer and uh, just change up part of it I just love these two inch foam brushes so easy to work with I mean it takes a while but once you get the hang of them they're so fantastic Hi. All right, that is nice. Maybe I'll do the stars red too. And then I'm going to need jewelry red also. That's not my specialty doing uh, hours and uh, phone numbers and stuff. <laughs> but it looks okay. And they said they wanted something bouncy, it was fine. Instead of some static vinyl lettering. Okay, I'm working on the second coat of green on the word uh, coin.
Okay, I went in to get paid. And uh, I'm gonna pack all my stuff up and head out. I'm happy with it. The sun came out, they're very happy with it too. I love these. I got a new one of these uh, these straps, adjustable straps. It makes it so nice. It's so easy for getting the ladder up there. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I should get the other camera out, get a couple shots. Check out that thing. <laughs> All my cameras are so beat up, but they're still working. All right. I don't know if you can see it with this camera because the sun's out and there's a big shadow. But that red and green really works, doesn't it? Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me today on this beautiful late February day. And uh, be sure and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my ebooks if uh, you want to learn how to paint. Watch my videos. And if you're really into me and you want to support me and help me keep making these videos, go to my Patreon account. There's a link right here. And uh, sign up on Patreon. And I'll see you later. Happy painting. Bye. That's how I roll. <laughs> See you next time.